In 2010, the oldest living man in Tokyo, a guy named Sogen Kato, was turning 111, so officials decided to go to his house to congratulate him and throw him a surprise celebration. It was supposed to be a very happy and warm occasion. But when they arrived to his address, they were confused when they were only met by his 53-year-old granddaughter who refused to let them in and repeatedly said that Mr. Kato just didn't want to see anyone. The officials were kind of suspicious, so they decided to send some police officers to launch an investigation. And when the officers forced their way into the house soon afterwards, they found a literal mummified skeleton on his bed, still wearing pajamas and underwear. Turns out, the guy had actually been dead for more than 30 entire years, and his daughter and granddaughter had only been pretending he was still alive just to receive his pension and senior welfare benefit money. They were both eventually charged with fraud, and Mr. Kato's granddaughter was eventually sentenced to two and a half years in prison. Interestingly, right after this incident happened, Japan lost an investigation to see if any of their other seniors weren't being properly tracked. Funny enough, they ended up concluding that they didn't know whether 234,000 people over 100 were still alive.